monsteras, begonias, and even philodendrons can be grown from artificially created synthetic seeds. Synthetic seeds are not seeds in the biological sense, they are artificially created capsules that encapsulate a plant embryo. In part one, a very special guest is going to show me how to make synthetic seeds in the laboratory. <clears throat> oh my god, I sound like a chain smoker. I'm sick. And in part two, I'll replicate the process of making synthetic seeds at home. Timestamps will be in the description below in case you don't want to watch the whole video or you want to come back and rewatch a certain part. Let's get into it. Hello everyone. So the first thing we need is to measure the water. So I just want to measure uh, 100 milliliters of water. So I just want to freehand it. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's add our uh, water to our uh, to our jar. Turn on the uh, magnetic stirrer. Now we're going to add our MS media. Uh, 0 0.22 grams of MS media. Now we're going to add the, the sugar. 1.5 grams of, uh, of sugar. Do you have problems with the plants, like with the embryos starting to grow while they're encapsulated in the seeds before you're ready to plant them? Yeah, so you don't fully encapsulate the, the, the embryo. Uh, it can it can kind of sprout uh, inside of the like the tubes. Now we have to add the sodium alginate, but before we do that, we need to calibrate the pH 5.6 to 5.8. The pH right now is too acidic. I need to increase the pH. So I just want to calibrate the pH. I just want to add one drop at a time until I I reach my 5.6 to 5.8. So now that we have calibrated the pH, we are ready to um, heat the media. So to add the, the sodium alginate. So you're going to turn on your um, your uh, heat plate. The media is almost a boiling point, so you can see it's uh, getting a steam right now. So it is time to start adding uh, the sodium alginate. I'm with you at uh, 2%, so because we have 100 milliliters, we need uh, two grams. When adding the sodium alginate, you want to do this very slowly. If you do it too fast, it's going to make a lot of clumps. So, like, just like this. Very slow, and you can see that it's uh, making some clumps. As it boils, it's going to, to dissolve it. Yeah, perfect. You can grab a, like a spoon or like a, a glass rod, kind of to help it out, to break it, break it up. Thank you. Yeah. It can take a while, so you can put this like in the microwave, just kind of to, to get it to boil faster, and then you just put it back in the, in the heat plate, and then you just kind of try to break all of these clumps. How long does it usually take for it to fully dissolve? To fully dissolve. It can take like a good 10, 15 minutes. Okay. So we want to make our uh, solution B, which is very simple. And we want to grab our other uh, jar. We want to add 100 milliliters. Next, we're going to measure our calcium chloride. So we do like 0.5% of like solution. So if we have 100 milliliters, we want to do like half a gram. Okay. Literally just kind of one little spoon, 0.5 of a gram. And then I just want to place it in my other jar. And then just kind of give it a a quick shake and this is ready to go. Autoclave both solutions at 15 PSI for 20 minutes. All right, so these are the plants that we're going to be working on. These are some, uh, use some philodendron, white knight. I want to use my, the, the microscope because I want to be doing like a really small work. But if you have a really good vision, uh, not like me, I have a terrible vision. Uh, you can do this, uh, which are the use of the microscope. So what I want to do is I want to put my, my blades. So these are, stereo blades so be very careful when using like the uh, <laughs> uh, blades because they they can really cut you up so this come sterile out of the uh, package but i want to place it in my uh glad bead sterilizer spray my hands i want to grab my uh, uh some uh, little clump of plants so this is plants that have been growing in, in tissue culture be as gentle as possible and trying to split the plant so i want to kind of do this into like smaller clumps first you need to let the, the the blade do the job you don't you don't have to put a lot of pressure or you're going to start damaging the plant so like this is a good example right here if i had coffee i cannot do this i mean look, check over here can you see this yeah. this is like look at that very small very small what part of like one of the little plants are you trying to isolate here for the I seed need, i need the notes you just need the note and it'll be fine um, just for Santeri seed, I like to kind of remove all the leaves, but you don't have to. 
This uh, is a sodium alginate. This has been sterilized in the pressure cooker or the autoclave. Also, I have sterilized uh, a couple of uh, portion cups and use a uh, pour, use a little bit of uh, the sodium alginate on it. And I just want to grab the plants I already cut, place it on top of the sodium alginate. You don't have to uh, stick it all the way in. They can use a uh, rest on the on the top. All right, so we are ready to start making our synthesis. What I like to use is uh, use a micropipette, your regular micropipette. You need a, um, your uh, sterile micropipette tips. Now, what happened is that the, the hole for the uh, micropipette is too small. So what I'm going to do is going to grab my sterile scalpel and then I just want to cut the end of it if I can. Oh, these are harder than I thought. There we go and just let it to go up. There we go. Nice. So that's my synthetic seed. Okay. So let me show you the spoon methods. There you go, so that was one that was big, big one. So what you can do right now is just going to put the lid on. Uh, you can put this on, sometimes some people like to put this on like a shaker, so make sure it's shaking so they don't kind of stick together. Uh, but I really don't, don't get a problem. So just get a little shake, and we just have to wait like, around 10, 15 minutes, and then you get your, your seed. We are ready to take out the synthetic seeds. So what I'm going to do is just going to carefully open the, the lid, and I'm going to use uh, my sterile um, spoon. I just want to try to fish them out. There we go. So you can see, now these are made of tail, so I say like if you um, maybe want to put in like in a shaker or shake them as they're, uh, you're dropping it in, so you can uh, you avoid this. Uh, but well, that, that's okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place this inside of um, use a sterile water. This is just kind of to rinse the uh, calcium chloride. This is a much better example. So this is my, my seed right here. And I just want to drop it in the sterile water. After that, I just want to grab a, a sterile tube. And this is used for storage. So I just want to drop it in my sterile tube. And this is pretty much done. This is a... Uh, ready to go, if I can grab the last, last seed. I can just place this in the fridge for up to a year. If I don't need them in a year, I just want to make a new batch. Following Francisco's directions in part one, I made the sodium alginate solution. Alginate. I also decided to try to film this process without a hot plate, just to make sure it was possible in case someone didn't have one. And yes, it is possible, but you just have to stir like an absolute mad woman for like 15 minutes straight. You have to channel a hot plate, be the hot plate. You are the hot plate. I also made the calcium chloride solution and I autoclaved both solutions for 20 minutes at 15 PSI. I have some cane begonias growing that are about the right size to use for synthetic seeds. Similarly to philodendrons, which we used in the lab demonstration, cane begonias also have nodes. As I cut the nodes, I'm just gonna put them in a small container of distilled water to make sure that they won't dry out. You can see that I'm not using a microscope for this process, and that is because I don't have a microscope. I've been playing around with the idea of maybe making a Patreon to produce some extra content for people, but also maybe to fund buying things like a microscope, which I think would be really fun for the channel. I did originally want to film this part of the process in a still air box and I do plan to make some upcoming videos with the still air box so if you're new to tissue culture make sure that you're subscribed so you see those when they come out because they're gonna be really helpful to you once I had enough nodal sections I gently placed each one on top of the sodium alginate solution that contains the MS and vitamins and then I used a micro pipette to transfer each seed into the calcium chloride so that they can harden up I found the pipette easier to control than a spoon although I did try both methods at home I left mine in the calcium chloride solution for around 10 minutes before I took them out and rinsed them in distilled water and ultimately put them into a sterile centrifuge tube. And these guys look really cool. I'm kind of obsessed with the synthetic seeds. Unfortunately, Francisco told me they only have about a 20% germination rate, so it's not really a reliable way to grow plants by seed. 
and it would actually probably be faster or actually definitely be faster to just take the plants from tissue culture and grow them in soil or fluval stratum once they're large enough. I did end up planting mine in some fluval stratum and perlite that I had left over from my acclimation video, so definitely make sure to follow me along on my Instagram where I'll be making updates about the seeds and whether or not I can get them to germinate. Everything that I used for this entire video will be linked below. If you want to try tissue culture for the first time, I highly recommend Plant Cell Technologies products. That's where I get all of my tissue culture products and I have a code with them, plants in jars, all in caps for 10% off your order. I'll also have Plant Cell Technologies YouTube channel linked below where Francisco makes videos on tissue culture. Thank you, Francisco, for teaching me how to make synthetic seeds. You rock. Okay, I think that's everything. I'm gonna go pop a NyQuil and go back to sleep. Bye.